Welcome back to Star Trek Nitpickers, everybody. I'm Commander Corbo, your host. Here's your co-host. Thanks a lot, Commander Corbo, and welcome back to Star Trek Nitpickers, everybody. Lieutenant William here. Today, we're going over my top five Easter eggs for episode five from Picard, Stardust City Rag. Counting down. Here we go. Number five, Kaplan. When Picard's band of merry pranksters arrives at Free Cloud, they're accosted by a series of holographic advertisements for various establishments on the surface. A cartoonish red bullion appears and informs Captain Rios that no one knows their way around a Kaplan F-17 speed freighter better than the red bullion. So now we know La Serena is a Kaplan F-17. There is one significant use of the name Kaplan in earlier Star Trek. In the original series episode, The Apple, one of the first red shirts to die is Lieutenant Kaplan, who is blasted into non-existence by Vol, an artificial intelligence that's come to be worshipped as a god. Could this be a hint that a similar fate awaits La Serena? Will it be destroyed by an artificial intelligence? Soji, a flesh-and-blood android with artificial intelligence, is said to be Seb Sheneb, the destroyer of all, and described godlike characteristics by certain Romulans on the show. Could there be a connection here? Number four, Tem Tibby Lagoon. When Captain Rios gets down to Free Cloud, he orders a Tem Tibby Lagoon. This is the first time we've heard this name used for a drink, but Tem Tibby Lagoon is one of the many attractions on Ryza, the pleasure planet. The weather control system keeps it from ever raining on Tem Tibby Lagoon, where the water is warm and the wind smells sweet. There are tourist facilities and hot springs too, so be sure to bring a bathing suit. Since it never rains on Tem Tibby Lagoon, it seems strange the drink named after it is served with one or possibly two umbrellas. Number 3, Mr. Mott. Taking center stage for just a moment, we see an advertisement for Mr. Mott's Hair Emporium. Mr. Mott, of course, was the talkative Bolian barber on board the Enterprise D, seen in the episodes Ensign Row and Schisms. He likes to give Picard and Riker unsolicited tactical advice, but as Riker says, he's the best barber in Starfleet. In the episode Starship Mine, Picard tells thieves who have discovered him hiding on an otherwise empty Enterprise that his name is Mott, and he's the ship's barber. Number 2, Quark. There were a couple of references to Quark, the famous Ferengi from Deep Space Nine. First, we see he's got a bar on Free Cloud. We also see ads for Dabo tables, which were one of the big attractions at Quark's bar on Deep Space Nine. And then we also hear Mr. Vup mention... Mr. Quark of Ferenginar was especially satisfied with your handling of his trouble with the breed. Mr. Quark of Ferenginar was especially happy with Rios' handling of the Breen. Number 1, Tranya. In Stardust City Rag, we see Bejazel give Bruce Maddox a glass of Tranya. Tranya was the drink Captain Kirk shared with Balak in the original series episode, The Corbamite Maneuver, an episode very special to our own Commander Corbo. Balak was played by Clint Howard, who has appeared in Deep Space Nine, Enterprise, and Discovery, as well as the original series. He's also Ron Howard's brother. What Easter eggs did you catch? Let me know in the comments below, and please subscribe to help keep Commander Corbo and myself up here in orbit in our ship, the Grey Wolf 359. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Until next time, live long and prosper.